We welcome to Impact Talks Grammy Award winning recording artist, composer, and pianist Omar Akram. He became the first Afghan American to win a Grammy Award with Echoes of Love in 2013. Born in New York City, Omar grew up the son of a United Nations diplomat living everywhere from Prague to Havana and his ancestral home of Afghanistan. Omar's parents are obviously from Afghanistan. Welcome to Impact Talks, Omar. Thank you very much. An honor to be here. What a delight. So tell me, you were born in New York to immigrant parents. Tell me about your parents' journey to the United States. Well, my father actually um, worked for United Nations okay. in New York. Mm -hmm. um, he was in politics back in Afghanistan, and he got the post to come and work at United Nations mm -hmm. in New York. And that's how I was born and my brother was born mm -hmm. in New York. Okay, that's amazing. How big, because you, you've lived in Afghanistan and obviously you lived here. How, do you know how big your community is? Well, uh, you know, there are pockets of Afghans living in different mm -hmm. uh, states. Okay. You know, there are some back east, some in, in California, but they're, they're all over. Yes, yeah. I just have to tell you that it's just an honor having here having you here, Grammy Award winner. We're so proud. Every time parents build roots, take off from their own country, come and build roots here, it's so that the next generation can have it better. So really proud of you. How did it feel to be that first Afghan to win that award? Well, you know, it was, it was, it was surreal and very interesting because, you know, Afghanistan is not known for music or no. it's not known for anything artistic. Mm -hmm. You know, when I became a nominee, you know, it was to <laughs> me, I was like, wow, I'm the first Afghan American, you know, to become a nominee. But honestly, when I won a Grammy Award, it, it became news around the world. I'm sure. Because it was um, a first Afghan American to win a Grammy Award. So I had journalists and people mm -hmm. coming from all over the world to my studio here in Los Angeles to talk about it. And it was a real honor. So it was, the, the Grammy was not just for me and my family. It was for a whole country. And that's what it is with immigrant communities. Like, if you misbehave, you messed up for everybody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the whole country. And that country is very divided. Yes. Because they have different ethnic communities living yes. in that country. Yes. But honestly, this Grammy Award brought everybody together. Mm -hmm. And I've heard it from all over the country how yes. proud they were. So it was an honor for me and my family. So is your music inspired in any way by your Afghan roots? Well, of course. You know, mm -hmm. there, you know, we are. I mean, I am Afghan, mm -hmm. you know, because my parents. I mean, I was born in, in, in America. But uh, yes, being Afghan in that culture is part of me. It's in yes. my blood. Yes. So everything, you know, although I grew up with, uh, well, you know, European classical music. Yes. But at the same time, you know, I brought in, you know, my Afghan heritage into my music. And I think that was a big part of the success for the music is to blend those both of those cultures. Absolutely. So your, what genre of music is it? Well, it's called New Age music. Mm -hmm. It's uh, contemporary, or a, a, as they call it, adult contemporary instrumental music. Yes. Uh, so it's uh, there's no singing, mm -hmm. but the music conveys an image. Kind of like what Kenny G does. Is there any similarity to that? Yes. Because I've listened to it. Yes, it is it's in the beautiful. same genre, yes. Hey, if this is your first time visiting Team TV channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we post new content. That's Yanni, Kenny yes. G, it's in the same genre. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically, it's melodic, mm -hmm. so it conveys an image and a story through music. So would you say immigrants have contributed in some kind of way in shaping music culture in the United States? Of course. Of course. I mean, we really, we all come from someplace. Some people don't this, remember that. Yeah. <laughs> this country <laughs> was built with immigrants. Yes. We all come from a different place. When yes. you ask people, mm -hmm. you know, where your grandparents came from, eventually somebody will say, yeah, they come from this country mm -hmm. or that country. So, yes, of course. Yes. We all contributed to the culture and what this country is all about. Yeah, I ask that because a lot of time... A lot of the time, immigrants don't get to celebrate what they bring. It's almost as if they have to work extra hard to try to impress. So there's kind of like almost a stigma 
to being immigrant. Have you felt that in any way? And did you feel pressure to be able to show a good face for the Afghan immigrant community? I'm, I'm going to be very honest with I you. I want that honesty. And, 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 and that really never really hindered anything that I've done. It mm -hmm. actually helped. But did you in feel In some it? ways. Did well, you experience it and defeat it? Because it's one thing. I, obviously, you, you know, you're right. Because, you know, I, you know, I come from an Afghani family and background. You yes. know, that's always been part of me. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's always been a part of me. But I, like I was saying earlier, it really, I embraced that part of me as opposed to kind of running away from it. Yes. You know, because... As I grew up, I realized what makes me unique and special is where I come from. Yes. Because we all come from a different place. Absolutely. And if you embrace that part mm -hmm. of you, I think it would really make a, a great impact on your life and, and other people's lives. So what message do you have for other maybe Afghani kids or immigrant, first generation immigrant kids or even children who were brought here really young who, uh, who have aspirations to do great things? Well, for me, I would say... First of all, you cannot run away from who you are. You know, you might be living in America and you see other kids. You might be a, a little different, but that difference is what sets you apart and what makes you special. Not, not the fact that you want to fit in and be like everyone else, change your name or change your appearance. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day is where you come from and who you are makes you special. That is just the key message. So thank you so much. Real last question for you. Have you thanked your parents for giving you this opportunity? <laughs> I did when I was on stage, um, you know, when I won a Grammy Award. And I'm thanking you now for being on the show. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you know what? If you had forgotten that when you won that Grammy, you just got your chance to say, I thank my parents. <laughs> I thank them all the time. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, Omar. And we wish you a lot more success. And when that next album album comes out, be sure to signal so we can do more talking about it and enjoy it. And our listeners will get a chance to enjoy your music today on the show. Thank, thank you. you. That's awesome. And this is Impact with Pamela and Chang on KPFK 90.7. Thanks for watching today's video. For more Team TV videos about immigrant lifestyles, click on the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new content. We upload new content every single week. See you next time on Team TV.